All right, so based off of our notes that we had in the beginning session that we were talking about over here, remember that our sign is pretty much wherever the X is located at, sign is going to be opposite over wherever the X is located at, opposite over the hypotenuse. The hypotenuse is always the longest side. So our cosine is over our adjacent side of whatever the variable is and we're trying to find the degree format over the hypotenuse. Always notice that it's so chi and then the last part toe opposite over adjacent. So we'll use that in order to answer a few questions that we have over here once you guys get to that point. All right, so in our first question here, go ahead, remember you guys can participate. We only have that, we don't got that many of y'all in here. So we should be able to uh, go ahead and speak up. Uh, I should be able to hear you all. Go ahead and voice it out or type it in the chat. But um, go ahead and tell me in number one here, how long is the side of the angle? This is the this is the uh, symbol for angle measurement. Well, how long is the side of the opposite side of one? How long is it? That's an easy one. 24. Good, 24. Let's knock these out so we can move on to the real hard stuff. So it's 24. And pretty much, as you can see, that angle was sitting there with X. Angle X is sitting in the corner. And then, like how Denise said, the opposite of that one was 24. I don't know why I erased my 24. All right, but yeah, that's 24. So yeah, that was correct. How long is the hypotenuse? 25. 25. So now, what would be the sign? Of one. Remember, the sign is the opposite over the hypotenuse. They pretty much gave you the two numbers to put over the fraction. What would the sign of X be? 24 over 25. Sign of X is 24 over 25. That's correct. Opposite over hypotenuse. Easy money. Now, what's the long side of the, or what is the side adjacent to angle one? The side adjacent to angle one is clearly what? Seven. Seven. And then what would be the cosine of angle one. They said, what's the cosine of angle one? What's the adjacent over the hypotenuse? Seven over 25. Seven over 25, easy money. All right? So that's pretty much all that would be. The sine of x would be 24 25. And then the other one is 25 over 25. So now, now that we understand those basics, we got these down here on the bottom. What would be the cosine of angle two what would be the cosine of angle two. What's the cosine of angle two? Angle two here. First off, what do we need for the cosine? And the cosine we need was adjacent. So what's adjacent to angle two? Three. Four. Remember? Four. You need we're going cosine, Alicia. So four is co is is adjacent side here. All right, for angle two. And then the opposite of that clearly would have to be what? What's the hypotenuse here in this triangle? Remember, the hypotenuse is always. Five. Yeah. Four over five. No, the hypotenuse is always directly across from the right angle box. Always. So anytime you want to find a hypotenuse, just look this opposite the right angle. So yeah, so that one, your cosine for that one would be four over five. All right. What's up, Axel? So the coach, so the cosine of that exactly will be four over five. So now we know that the last part is our tangent. And our tangent over here was just basically wherever the X is at, it's opposite over whatever is adjacent. So what is opposite of angle two? Three. Three is opposite over angle over angle two. And what is our adjacent side here? Four. Four. So your answer for angle two would be three over four. So just so you can have to take a look, a better look at it. That was a really good job of me. All right. Now let's try. Let's try this. Yeah, I 
tangent of z, all right? Now I can use this guy here to follow up. Now we got a triangle here with our angles. We're gonna knock these 10 out there, that should be a wrap. They wanna know in this first triangle what's the tangent z. And it's pretty, I can leave it like that because that kind of looks like a flagpole, exactly like a real world situation. We have a 21 on this side. Is over here and 35. They want to know what's the tangent of Z. So what would be our tangent of Z? Anybody? 28 over 21. What's tangent? What would have to be tangent? What would be our tangent? Remember our tangent over here? 21 over 20. Tangent of Z, remember tangent is the opposite over the adjacent. So if I'm looking at Z, what's opposite of Z? It'll be what? Oh, 21. One is opposite of Z. And then what's my, what's adjacent to Z? 35. 35. 35 is our hypotenuse, remember? Let me go ahead and put our- 28. 28. Yeah. Word, Damien, take, take, take practice. Twenty-one over twenty-eight. It's just opposite over the adjacent. Now you got this over here with the cosine of C. The cosine of C. Cosine, remember, is just pretty much adjacent side, whatever same side over whatever the hypotenuse. So first, what's the hypotenuse in this one? Right Thirty-four. Here? Thirty-four is our hypotenuse, right? So that we can be able to knock these out without even having to draw it all out. If I, if I want to know what the cosine of C is, we don't even need to draw it out. You know that it's, it's opposite. 16 it's over 30. over hypotenuse. So if you told me that the hypotenuse in this one is 34, what's adjacent? 16. 16, right. Okay, That's it. All right. You know what? Let me do. Let me see if I can keep track of all of our answers so we can check them in the end. Try the next two. We've got the sign of C. So let's try number three here. So we'll start from there to figure out our answers. I already know what we're so, Three. What is the sign of C? Twenty-eight over thirty-five. Makes you think that. Huh? Twenty-eight over thirty-five. What makes you yeah, think? Over because opposite. the opposite of C is twenty-eight, mm -hmm. and the hypotenuse, which is opposite side of the little square thing, would be thirty-five. I like it. 28 over 35, that's three. So we'll keep that one. I'm gonna slide to the next one. If anybody disagree, make sure you say something because we're about to check all of them here in the end. Yeah. Yeah. Four, what would be the tangent of X? Is it 32 over 24? Opposite over adjacent. Good job. Uh, who's that, Zoom? Yeah. yeah. So your tangent at that time Opposite of opposite of X is 32 over 34. Hey, guess what? Y'all know trigonometry. Now it gets a little like I can it gets uh we can go a little bit further in one. Let me see what you got. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Good. So we had 32 over 24. That was correct. Let's try. Nancy, I want you to try these two because I think Denicia and, uh, and Zuli already hit the game. Let's try these two, Nancy. 
And who else we got up in here? All right, Nancy, let's try this. Try let Nancy get this one. Um, um, let Nancy and uh, let Nancy get this one. Nancy and Zoom. Right. Nancy, where you at? I'm right here. All right, bet. We got number five here. What's the cosine of A? Remember, cosine is my opposite of whatever, let's say, is opposite, or I'm saying it's adjacent, same side or whatever the variable we want to get, and it's just the hypotenuse. So look at, look at number five. The easiest one is you know the hypotenuse is going to be in the denominator. So what would be the hypotenuse in number five? 34. 34, because it's right directly across the right angle box. So what should be the cosine of A? 16 over 16 over 34. Dang. And now if you get answer choices, remember that they might simplify them down. All right. Just never forget that. Let's try one more. And I think I'll be able I think that should be a wrap because I think y'all pretty much got that. And I'll just put the clip up on YouTube and I'll post the, we're going to post the homework and remind. Nancy, close it out right here on number six. 32 over 40. 32 over 40. Explain it. Because sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Your hypotenuse is 40. And your opposite is 32. Right. Hey, that. that easy. Anybody got any questions on that? Nope. All right. So, yeah, that's it. I'm not going to hold y'all long today. Let me just let me show y'all real quick so y'all can see the answers. What was that we did? Two, three, four, and five? Or oh, I went too far? We did one to six. You did one through six. So we got yeah. three over four. Number two, eight over 17. Mm -hmm. Now it says eight over 17. Remember, it just simplifies 16 over 34. They simplified it by two. So 16 over 34 is eight over 17. So we are correct. It's the same thing. When you slide down to three and four, mm -hmm. Same thing here, 4 over 5, you divide these two by 7, it's same thing as 4 over 5. Over here, tangent of x is 4 over 3, that's correct because when you divide 32 over 24, it becomes 4 over 3. And then let's see if Nancy was right on the end. 5 over 6, mm, 5 we weren't correct here, what did we do wrong here? 15 over 17. The cosine of A. Somebody messed up. Oh, Nancy, we were supposed to put 30 over 34, not 16. Remember, the cosine is adjacent of A. So it should have been 30 over 34, not 16. You understand that? You see where you messed up at? Yes. All right, because it's adjacent, same side as A. So it should have been 30 over 34. And when you simplified that, it made it um, 15 over 34. And then the last one, you were correct, 4 over 5, because when you have the sine of A, it was just the opposite of 32 over 4. When you divide both of those by 8, it gives you 4 over 5. Y'all got any questions? No. Everybody pretty much good on that? Yeah. All right. Check y'all. Check the remind. I'll post the homework sometime in about a, uh, about another hour here. It'll be posted. It'll be due to me by Friday. That's it. We got about two weeks left, y'all. So we are gonna close this thing out. All right. All right, y'all. Thanks for joining. I'll put the. I'll make sure. Uh, make sure y'all check the grade book this week. I'll be updating grades, and I'll let y'all know through remind anyway. All right. Later. Bye.